Hi and welcome back to the channel today where we're going to be discussing a very serious and somewhat disturbing topic and no this is not clickbait before anyone starts lighting up the comments or oh, clickbait clickbait this is actually genuinely serious and I'm going to explain why. I personally believe that this year we're going to see tens of thousands of new deaths as a result of the inflation that has been caused over the last couple of years. Now you might say inflation what's this got to do with anything? Well it has mainly to do with heating. Now we could talk about food and food poverty but today I just want to focus on one aspect and that is heating. So I'm going to go to the shared screen here and show you why. As you know, I've been tracking all the prices of natural gas, heating oil and other heating commodities for you over the last year or so. And the charts speak for themselves. If we go back to March of last year, so just coming up to a year ago now, 2.5 and as where we sit right now, we are at 4.52. Now look where we were back at the start of February, 5.5. We were double, so that's a 100% increase from the start of March and even worse if you go back to October time. Now you might say, okay, that's just natural gas. Well, yes, but a lot of homes, in fact, the majority of homes throughout the UK use natural gas. A lot of houses, uh, homes, businesses throughout Europe use natural gas. Also some homes in the USA, Canada, a lot of other places do use natural gas for heating. What else do people use? Heating oil especially in rural communities, people use heating oil. Look at the prices of heating oil, 2.8 today, 2.87. Where were we again back in March? 1.7. I mean, these numbers are absolutely exploding here. And again, we can even look on the right-hand side here where I'm highlighting this area. You can see natural gas. I mean, these daily changes are insane in terms of, in terms of prices. Now you might say, well, I use a, a HVAC, I'm in the US. Uh, electricity isn't going up in the US, really? Well, let's take a look at these statistics then. Back in December 19, it was 0 0.133 uh, per kilowatt hour on uh, per dollar, that is. Uh, where are you today? Look at the chart. It is going up. Everything is going up in terms of, terms of energy. And by the way, don't even look into EU carbon permits. There's a little wink, wink uh, one for you to look into here. EU carbon permits. So these are permits on what you can actually use in terms of carbon. <laughs> This sort of stuff people say, you know, the Great Reset is a, it's a hoax, it's a conspiracy. Yeah, it, it's live. This is a commodity now that's trading. Go and check it out. But let's get on to the article here then. More than a third of Britons, and by the way, just because it says Britons, apply this to your country as well. It doesn't, doesn't matter where it is. So this was January 26th, 2022. A third of Britons cannot afford now to heat their home to a comfortable level. This is not a joke. This is deadly serious. 57% here answered that they can heat their home to a comfortable level to be warm. 28% said to a level where I'm warm but not as much as I'd like. 7% said to a level where I'm still cold but not as cold as before. And then 2% said I can't afford to heat my home at all. Now let's look at this statistic. Half of Britons with household incomes under £15,000 per year cannot afford to heat their homes comfortably. Only 38% said that they could heat their home to a level that they're comfortably warm. 55% between 15 and 35,000, 35 to 50,000 was 66%, and over 50,000 per year, only 73% said that. Now, if you're earning over 50,000 pounds as a household and you're in this category here, it's probably because you've got too much debt, too much other payments going out, new car, a bigger mortgage and things like that, so, uh, credit cards, etc. So this is something I covered on Sunday's video. So just look into those things, try and cut those costs down. So next article then, it's all about fuel poverty. Why is one older person dying every seven minutes during winter. Now this was written back in 2016 before I get all the trolls saying, oh you do know we're in the middle of a pandemic don't you? Uh, no, this was 2016 just, just for those people. Uh, so let's have a look at this then. Over the last four, four winters, so this is going back to 2012, and this is just one country by the way. This doesn't include you know USA, Canada and all the other European countries. Over the last four winter, According to the latest official figures, nearly 100, look at this, 120,000 people in England and Wales have died of cold weather. So this is, you know, associated with heating, not heating their homes. It can be other things such as influenza. Obviously not in the last two years, not a single person 
um, has died of influenza, even though the average has always been about 250 people per day dying of it. But um, we'll take that one out of the equation here. But you can see it says the deaths have more to do with poverty than freezing temperatures. Now, this is really important that we talk about this. And I'll, I won't go through this whole article here, but I do want to come on to this article, which was from a couple of weeks ago. Now, I've been covering this intensely on the channel. Look what they're saying, rising energy bills, so high gas prices to continue for three years. Three years, we've already seen huge increases, 35, 50%, 100%, 300% on some businesses for their gas prices. How much more are people gonna be able to take? So look at this uh, statistic for Northern Ireland here then. So from the 24th of February, so in a week's time, an increase of 335 7% will take place, bringing average household gas bills in the, in the 10 towns area to 1,000, almost 1,300 pounds a year. That is absolutely insane. When you look back in April, 2021, the average bill was 518 pounds. That is more than a 150% increase in less than a year, just 10 months, 150% increase in 10 months. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. So when all these government ministers just keep brushing this off all the time about uh, heating prices and gas, electricity, heating oil and, and everything else, they are, I don't know what they are thinking. This is going to cause more excess deaths this year, especially for the elderly, which is the biggest group that gets affected by this, and people who are in poverty, people that can't afford you know, they have to make that choice. Do I heat or do I eat? The politicians really need to take action on this. I, I just don't understand why they are turning a blind eye to this, knowing what is coming uh, for the people. History shows what happens to the politicians when people get really desperate, they get hungry, they get cold, they get desperate. It's very clear what happens. So if I were a politician right now, I would be taking care of this problem before the masses started coming for me, basically. So, all right, I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. See you next time.